19.9 model R. We got the, uh, oh, we got the steering column in it. Quadrant poured out. We got the bypass on there. We got the pedals in it. We got the holes in the floor. We got the uh, pumps laying in here. We'll take the hood off here. We got the uh, boiler setting in here. I got our boiler ring in. Oh, we got the boiler in. Oh, springs are on it now too. Spring mounts are all made. Brand new U-boys. They're uh, lost wax. Um, we got the, like I said, everything's inside here. It's just temporary, but we got. I think it's in the right place. Show me the other gear, Timmy. Bring that gear around that side, Timmy. That gear right there. We put a smaller gear. You can see it down here. It's a ten tooth, and here's the uh, what was on it originally. If we slowed that down, what that did was it brought everything back farther and gave us more room here to clean it, clear the boiler. So that was said originally. I think it's sixteen or an eighteen. That's a ten tooth. Uh, plus, it makes it drive so much easier. Those lags will be replaced. Uh, gets pulled the whole way through from the other side when we're done. We got stainless. We wrap the inside with stainless to uh, for fire protection. Um, like I said, the boiler's in it too. And uh, I got a front axle starter, spindles are started, tanks are made. Like I said, here's our gears. We got our windshield here laying too. We're trying to fit up. Okay, and over here, you guys can throw that. We'll throw that. Uh, Rick and Tim Mayer, get that out of the road. This is a model 63. Um, springs are on. Had to replace the spring lease. The front axle was retubed it. Um, boiler, boiler ring is in here. New boiler ring. Same deal here. Where's that gear at? This is actually the column. Um, you can see what we did here. It's, this is actually the this is actually the column that was in this car. You can see the difference in the. Once again, it brought everything back. This is a bigger boiler. I only had a 19 and a half. It's 21 and a half, which they did in 13. So we had to bring that back, give it more room to steer. Same deal here. We got the pedals in. Steering, steering's on. Lots of room underneath the wheel. Pedals are in. Tanks are started. Um, here, Tim. Let's pull this seat off. I'll show them what we did here. This is the uh, outlet. We make the, we make the, hold on so I can hear, make it, we make a tank pattern, pattern out of wood, and then we make the, the copper tank match that. It's, it's sometimes it's tricky to uh, make everything fit, fit right. Like I said, here's a, that'll go on the pasture side in there somewhere. I got all the tank outlets made. So spring mount. Oh, here's something. This was a, this was on here. You can see it's cracked. It's an original piece. That was the spring hanger. This piece. Um, it goes on the car this way. Like I said, I don't know if you can see the cracks. I used an end mount. I made it round on the inside edge. You can't even see it um, because it's back underneath the car. Hopefully, it won't split. I used a. Um, 516-70 boiler plate, which I think will be good to go. Oh, we hung the boiler. 1910 is the only year that has two bolts um, in the front. 1911, 12, 13 had four bolts in the front. That's a debit kid giveaway. And the, the front axle is one year only for 10. Straight to, I'll show you the difference. But like I said, we got a good start. Um, boiler, same deal. We lined it. We lined this one with stainless. The way around it here. I don't know if we can. If you can see it. We still got some screws to put in it. And that's that's it. 1910 model 63. Hey, where's the rear seat, Tammy? Put the rear seat on there. In the back. That way we got a good good picture. We we'll get a picture of both of them. That's what we've been working on. 
the, the hood on the model 633 is at Daryl Erickson's and uh, hope to have it back soon in California they're gonna get the rear seat so yeah it looks good the steering it's uh, pretty close to being in the middle of the car like I said the springs were a booger a lot of grinding make nice nice looking springs this is the first year for the tabs in nine on the 20s and 10 they didn't put tabs on all oh, here's original here's an original insignia stamping that they did um, on the springs like I said they look a lot better the original springs we got her looking pretty good um, these are the brackets trying to think what else Oh, we got them out the, the shaft and we got everything cleaned up. Oh, there's a new hub. We got missing hubcaps. I got um, casted and got one original one in there. It's a cute little car. But there it is. Model, model 63, 1910. And a Model R.